everybody, as you can see, we're not in my garage or my house for that matter, and this is not any of my cars. Where we are is my sister's house, and this is her 2005 Toyota Camry. We're going to just change the oil real quick. This is one of the easier jobs to do, so if you are one of the 1.8 billion trillion thousand people that own one of these, this is something that you can do and save yourself some money. And because they treat their metal babies right, we've got castor oil and a good Bosch filter. So let's drain the oil real quick and start servicing this dude. This is the oil drain plug right here. It looks to be about a 14 millimeter and this is the passenger side of the car. And the oil filter is in one of the most accessible places possible right here. So I'm gonna pull the plug, drain the oil real quick and pull the filter off. Okay, now that the filter's out, something that I like to do other than make sure that my filter, my replacement is the same as one I took off because you never know what uh, a disgruntled employee might put in a box. I take a little bit of oil that's still dripping off of everything and I put it on the rubber gasket. Now, on this particular car, if you haven't already done this job before, and I'm glad I have my drain pan underneath the filter, I unscrewed the filter and it started just dripping oil all over the place. So, when t in time, when you can finally start the filter on the threads, which I clearly seem to be having a problem doing. There we go. Now that that's on, wipe a little bit of the residual oil off there. Now I usually put these on hand tight. A lot of people torque their filters. I usually put them on about as tight as I can grab because they get really tight after you've been driving them for a while. And they get hot. It's probably pretty good right there. And the torque specs for the drain plug are about 30 pounds. It's a steel plug, so it doesn't need to be too ungodly tight. You don't want it coming out, but you also don't want to pull the threads out the next time you change your oil, so. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go up top and fill it with oil. So this engine actually calls for 3.8 quarts of oil, and it says four for the filter, so. It's decent practice to go right below that and then check it after you start it up and fill it up accordingly. Don't just fill it blindly and hope that luck is on your side. So I've got 3.8 in it now and we'll start it and run it for a minute. And as always, before you let it down, check for leaks. Look under your car if you get done running it. Keep an eye on it. You did just drain the lifeblood out of the thing and replace it. So it's always a good idea to keep it. Keep an eye on it, make sure everything is copacetic. So like I said, it's a pretty easy job, and that's all there is to it. Save yourself some money and do the oil change yourself. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe right here for more Rage Fuel content. We'll see you next time.